just spoken for some time with President Zelensky of Ukraine. I told him, as I have each and every time we've spoken, the United States stands with the people of Ukraine as they bravely fight to defend their country, and they are doing that. And as Putin continues his merciless assault, the United States and our allies and partners continue to work in lockstep to ramp up the economic pressures on Putin and to further isolate Russia in the global stage. Later today, together with other NATO allies in the G7, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, the United Kingdom, as well as the European Union, we're going to jointly announce several new steps to squeeze Putin and hold him more, even more accountable for his aggression against Ukraine. And I want to speak to a few of those points today. First, each of our nations is going to take steps to deny most favored nation status to Russia. A most favored nation status designation means two countries have agreed to trade with each other under the best possible terms. We're also taking a further step of banning imports of goods from several signature sectors of the Russian economy, including seafoods, vodka, and diamonds. And we're going to continue to squeeze Putin. The G7 will seek to deny Russia the ability to borrow from leading multinational institutions, such as the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank. Putin is an aggressor. He is the aggressor. And Putin must pay the price. He cannot pursue a war that threatens the very foundations, which he's doing, the very foundations of international peace and stability, and then ask for financial help from the international community. 